but one of the most popular destinations for users on Craigslist, well, it's the housing section, and scammers know that. They take advantage of it. Yeah, they're waiting for you, right? A Knoxville couple says pictures and descriptions of a rental home they listed on Craigslist were cloned or stolen, and a prospective renter did not know it. So they called WAT, sit on your side, consumer investigator Don Dare, to bring some attention to this costly scam. Don. Yeah, the would-be renters in this case lost more than $600 before the owners of the home discovered the scam, and you'll see that in a moment. Craigslist is now the go-to place for many rental seekers and rental scammers. The clone listing is one of the most prevalent Craigslist scams, perhaps because it's so cheap to execute. The scammer simply copies and pastes information from a legitimate rental ad and then offers a price that's literally too good to be true. It's a three-bedroom, one-bath. Eat in kitchen. Developers Terry and Bill Terry restored this home in Knoxville and listed it for rent last month. A young couple showed up in early October to see the house. A neighbor who saw the couple and knows the Terrys phoned them. A neighbor next door called, wanted to know why we weren't here showing the house to a young couple. We hadn't talked to that young couple. The scammers had. The Terrys posted their home on Craigslist, but scammers ripped off the pictures, created a new email address, then posted it. And changed the amount of rent and put their contact. A fake ad listed the rent at hundreds of dollars under the actual rental price. They do everything by text. You text them, they text you back, and this is an ongoing thing. I've contacted the, the, the scammer and told them that, you know, I was interested in renting the house. So Bill turns the tables. In this text, the scammer asked Mr. Terry to fill out an application, which he did. At some point, they said, sorry, we can't meet with you. Uh, uh, we're, we have an illness in the family. My aunt's supposed to come show you the house and not be available. However, this is my aunt's uh, bank account number, uh, so if you'll just go ahead and, and deposit the money into that bank account. Bill did not send the money, but he says the scammers did their homework and were devious in avoiding detection. They created a, a Gmail uh, address in my wife's name. They used my maiden name instead of my married name. The couple who fell for the scam lost $650 by sending money to the scammers, a scheme we're familiar with. Last November, we reported that Susan Chester was living out of her SUV after sending all of her savings to a so-called landlord she never met. Susan had responded to this rental ad on Craigslist. The home in Knoxville was perfect for her, but she was never able to get inside it. The landlord only sent pictures, claiming he was out of town and couldn't show it. All her correspondence was by email. Susan said the deal was so good, she accepted and sent the money. I put down 2250 which would be three payments. It would be the first month, the last month, and security. It was sent um, via Walmart gift card. There are telltale signs to this scam. First, the deal is too good to be true. Next, the landlord or owner is out of town, so you're not able to get inside the house. You are asked to provide personal information on the application, and once approved, you are directed to either wire money or pay with gift cards. Mrs. Terry says never say yes to a deal if the landlord can't show you the rental property personally. I will be on site to show them the house. That is the biggie that you meet the owner of the house. Now, the Terrys contacted Knoxville police and filed a police report. Quickly after discovering the scam, they got in touch with Craigslist, and the fake ad has been taken down. As Mrs. Terry said, a dead giveaway of this hoax is when you don't get a tour of the unit's interior, legitimate landlords will arrange a visit. Also, money should only change hands when the lease is signed. If you're required to send money in advance, be very suspicious. And Kristen and Bo, the Terrys don't want anyone else to fall for yeah. this type of scam, which a lot of people have fallen for. I'm glad they're sharing the story. Hopefully yeah. it'll get the word out there yeah. more. Yes. All Don, right, Don. Thanks. If you have a consumer question, everyone, for Don, you can send him an email at ddare at wate.com, or you can call his six on your side hotline number. That is 865-633-5974.